if an engineer wants to become a manager, uh, what is expected? Uh, how can they get there into that role? Um, I'll make a quick comment here that uh, you need to think carefully about whether or not you really want to be a manager. Uh, and that's a discussion all to its own. But uh, what, what do you uh, folks on the panel think here? What's expected? How can they get there into that management role? I, I think a, a lot of it, I think you were hitting some on it there. If, if you want to go into managing and you want to actually, you know, be, be leading the teams, be managing the organization, you you need to separate that from actual leadership and um you know, within leadership, you can you can be an individual on a team or you can even be like a team lead or something who's still working with technology, who's still hands on in the field, but you're not necessarily in the management realm or up in the ranks within management. And I think that's a key differentiation. If, if you want to, which way do you want to go with that? Yeah, I, I think one of the, the key things is if you're really going into management and I'll I'll preface this into, OK, I've, I've started a couple of companies and whenever I stepped away from managing the company, um, things didn't go well. Um, so I went back and, OK, let me go do some training. Let me go do some technical stuff, technical consulting. And things didn't go well on the management side. When I went back and, and actually spent time managing, then I didn't get the, the technical stuff that I really enjoyed. Um, but But things went well with the company. Yeah, you just hit on something that was important for me to realize, especially as a, a younger guy, as an engineer wanting to be a manager. I really was almost dismissive of the management role and the significance and the importance of it, thinking it just puts me in a technical leadership position where I can you know, make my will uh, what I want it to be you know, on the network more easily because I'll have some authority. I thought that's what it was all about. And it really wasn't management and managing people and helping people meet their goals, getting things done within the company, interfacing with the business is a, is a full-time job all itself. And really you are to some degree, giving up your technical responsibilities and trading that in for a, a managerial set of responsibilities. And I think some people, um, the further up they move, or rather the further away they move from a more technical role to a more managerial, that's something I think a lot of people tend to uh, forget too, is that over time, you know, your, your specific technical skills will begin to atrophy unless you maintain them. But in that managerial role, you're probably not going to have the extra incentive to you know, put in that extra time that's required to keep those very specific skills. At the same time, though, I think you could also start to learn a new set of skills. If you're going into the managerial side, one, you're going to have to be good at dealing with people. Maybe that's a skill set area you feel like you could improve on. Uh, we probably all could. But second, you're also going to have to start uh, understanding the business side of the operation. So some, some finance you're going to have to be meeting goals and deadlines that may be different from what you're used to. You're going to be sort of an interface layer between the technical side and the business side. So that's a, a different set of skills that you're going to have to develop. Hmm. Which can yeah, be exactly. It makes a lot of sense to understand what a uh, income and balance sheet have <laughs> and how you read them and what they what what makes sense on it. Where do you look for the the things that stand out and go, "Oops." <laughs> right. And you're going to have budgets and you're going to have to know how to ask for money and learn how to manage money and parcel out, you know, money and allocation and all that. So, yeah, a whole, a whole new set of objectives. So let's focus on the second part of the question there. I mean, how do you get there? What is your path to go from uh, engineer to manager? Is, is there a prescribed path? Do you have any recommendations there? Um, well, one was to, to learn about financials. So there's the a whole technical side of it. And then there's the soft skills, the real soft skills of how do you work with people? And there's a lot of, OK, so what's the right culture for the organization? Uh, what is the parent organization's culture like? Um, some of them are, are quite different. Some of them are more family oriented, like Net Craftsman is right now. Yeah, I think there's probably a couple of things you could do for example like manage a small team of technical people or if you're going into a network architect role then you'll work more on the business side and perhaps manage a couple of people and interact a lot with the business as well so um, I would look for those kind of roles um, if, if you have a long-term goal of going into management. Yeah and I, I think you know getting started for a lot of people you look into that you 
um, one thing to ask is look around you and see who are your go-to people? Who are people that you look to to help you get things solved? Is it a technical leader and, and what roles do they play and, and why do you look at them for stuff? And then if it's a, a manager or a supervisor, why do you go to them for specific things? You know, if, if it could be, how do we handle this process? Or we have this new project kicking off and budgeting isn't happening right or whatever the scenario, why do you go to that person and why do you ask them for their advice and their help with it? And it's usually because they have a certain set of skills. They they know how to work that process. They they understand it well, or they, they know how to lead a specific team to get the results you want. And then you start striving and working towards those types of skills in yourself. Yeah, I think one of the important things is to see if you can find a mentor, somebody that's already in the management skills area and can help you develop your skills and, and give you guidance on a regular basis. And I think another thing you can do is just ask, you know, who who are you reporting to? Talk to them, find out how, the, how they got there and what kind of path they might recommend for you. And whether or not they think you might be a good manager or not. I think some of us that are engineers uh, do kid ourselves a little bit about that. I know I've kind of made that point before in this discussion, but uh, I made that mistake and it's very poignant in my mind when I made that mistake and I did ignore the advice of some people that said, we'll support you if you want to do it, but we don't think you're going to be happy. We really think you, and, and it turned out I wasn't happy at, at the end of the day.